Now it's recording. You can see that it's red around and then this is an article that, of mine that was printed in the Jewish Tribune on the subject of World War II in the light of the Torah. It was given the title, Eis Milchoma, There is a Time for War. Coming events cast their shadows before them, stated the German philosopher Wolfgang Goethe. 1773, we must not stay in this place. Jewish blood will one day be spilt here. I can sense it. I can feel it, pained Rabzusha Vanapol. The place was Oswichim, later renamed Auschwitz. 1870, because of the sin of Geiger's reform, Shulchan Aruch, a new German Shulchan Aruch is going to be written. With one law, one halacha, leave no Jew alive, warned the Maggid of Kelm. 1881, Rabbi Elchanan Wechsler, wrote a book, Azhara, about dreams he had had of Jews being rounded up, taken to concentration camps, exterminated and burned. 1889, Zuk Tehillim, say Psalms, I can sense that a man who will be even more evil than Haman has just been born. Pray that he dies a Misa Mashuna, an untimely death, warned the Shinovat Sadik. The date, April the 20th, at the very hour of Hitler's birth. Hitler himself was conceived on July the 20th, 1888, at Tishabav. 1891, when the Jew loses his Torah, which is his very essence, he becomes something like an imitative ape. And then the Goyim, the Gentiles, start to consider the Jew as being something less than a human being, literally worthy of extermination, an untermensch, a subhuman, wrote Rab Naftali Tzvi Berlin. 1896, the English author M.P. Scheel writes a story about a future band of monstrous criminals that ravage across Europe, slaughtering and burning their corpses. The story was ominously entitled The SS, 1923, the Yiddish poet Uri Tzvi Greenberg pens a poem entitled In Malchus von Salem, in the Kingdom of the Crucifix, anticipating the Holocaust about a future wasteland of Jewish agony and death with corpses hanging from the continent's trees, its rivers disgorging naked bodies of murdered victims, its soil toxic with Jewish blood. 1925, men think that Berlin is the new Jerusalem, but the coming storm of destruction will emanate Dovka from Berlin, wrote the Osameach, Rav Simcha Meir of Dvinsk. 1929, the Chofetz stated, the 12 million dead of the Great War, World War I, that was child's play. The real thing will start in 10 years' time, and it did, 1939. 1938, sword and slaughter are coming to the world because men fail to study the Zohar, said Rav Yehuda Ashlag. 1939, said the Rebbe of Karlin, the heavenly decree against Europe's Jews cannot be reversed and it will be worse than that of the destruction of the Second Temple. Its like has not been seen since the world was created. The key to all the events of history is Ein Puranios Bola Olam Ela built Bishvil Yisrael. No trouble comes to the world except because of Israel, says the Talmud. Many sources, the Zohar, the Vilna Goan, Toldus Yaakov Yosef, Rab Ibn Yahya, all pinpointed the years 5698 to 5708, that's 1938 to 1948, as being years of ominous portent. See the book L'Chol Ace by Rab Matisyahu Glazerson. May 1940, Operation Dynamo. 340,000 British and French soldiers rescued in nine days by an armada of little boats, said Winston Churchill. The tale of the Dunkirk beaches will shine in whatever records are preserved of our affairs. Had the sea been even slightly choppy, all would have been lost. 
God withheld the wind. Winston Churchill was indubitably one of the Shloshim Kesef, one of the 30 pieces of silver, one of the 30 righteous Gentiles, referred to in the Talmud Chulin 92, and a Chosid of the Nations. See Winston Churchill, Man of Destiny, by Rabbi Boruch Horowitz. From then followed two years of unbelievable success as the Nazis, fanatical to the point of madness, smashed their way into the skies over England, up the mountains of the Balkans and Caucasus, across the frozen steppes of Russia, deep into the African deserts and beneath the waters of the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. 50% of the huge British merchant marine was sent to the fishes. Quote, the U-boat was the only weapon I really feared, said Churchill. And the Talmud 2,000 years ago warned, should Edomite Germany ever sally forth from out of its land, it will destroy the entire war world. Germania shall Edom, shall Malehen Yotzin, Machrivin Eskol Haolam Kulo, destroy the entire world. Megillah 6. For Hitler, nothing could go wrong. Then, in ninth, summer 1942, he commenced the Endlosung, the final solution in earnest, thus violating Hashem's adjournment to the Goyim. Do not overly oppress Israel. Gomorrah Ksubus 111. And from then on, nothing could go right for him. See the book Divine Madness, a defense of Hashem in the matter of the Holocaust by Rabbi Avigdor Miller. As Rommel battered on the gates of Eretz Yisrael, the German grand strategic plan envisaged a vast pincer movement from the Caucasus, Africa and Asia Minor to unite with the Japanese in the Persian Gulf who were advancing through India. However, once the line Leningrad, Moscow, Stalingrad was reached and most of Europe's jury was in Nazi clutches, to have advanced any further would have served no purpose in fulfilling the Tochochos of Dvorim 28, and the Creator said, Die. Far enough. See the book Miracle at El Alamein, the story of the rabbis who stopped the Nazi onslaught at the gates of Eretz Yisrael by Rabbi Zev Paretsky. Of all Hitler's campaigns, the only one that could be considered a success was his annihilation of 80% of European Jewry. Even though the Germans themselves had taken horrendous casualties, yet they were still far from beaten, as the Allies learned to their bitter cost again and again in the Wehrmacht's rock-hard resistance, again while slowly withdrawing in order skillful flexibility in defense and ability to mount ferocious counterattacks. The German word for counterattack, Gegen Angriff, was learnt in full by the Allies at Dieppe, Kasserine, Kursk, Cherkassi, Monte Cassino, Anzio, Narva, Strasbourg, Targul Frumos, the Dodecanese Islands, Vilkovishkin, Hurtgen Forest, the Schelt Estuary, Aachen, Lake Balaton, etc., etc. For this was the very nation against whom Yaakov Avinu beseeched Hashem. Yaakov Avinu saw the nature of the Germans, and he said in Tehillim 140, Al Titain Hashem Ma Vaye Rosha. Please, Hashem, do not grant the wishes of the Rosha, the wicked. Even at this late hour, many of the one million Jews of Hungary and Romania still leave, lived. The desperate plans, attempts to save them, could have succeeded. For example, the Blut für Wahr Europa plan of Rabbi Weissmandel but they were thwarted by secular Zionist leaders. Quote, one cow in Palestine is worth more than all the Jews in Europe. Who said this? Not Yasser Arafat, but Yitzhak Greenbaum, the chairman of the Jewish agency. Quote, Palestine cannot be allowed to be flooded with undesirables, i.e. from a Jews. Who said that? Henry Montour, director of the United Jewish Appeal, the UJA. Sha'ini ma'amid sonim elamikem uvechem, the famous Rashi on Vayikra 26, I will only raise enemies from amongst your own Jewish ranks. The whole sordid story came out in the 1955 Kastner trial. Lama sabit bogdim, 
Why, Hashem, do you still continue to gaze on the traitors? Habakkuk chapter 1. See the book, the famous, the infamous book, Perfidy, by Ben Hecht, and the book Shabtai Tzvi, Labor Zionism and the Holocaust by Barry Chamish. The June 1944 D-Day invasion of Festung Europa was fortuitously named Operation Overlord. And on its eve, Field Marshal Montgomery stated, quote, let us pray that the Lord, mighty in battle, will go forth with our armies and that his special providence will aid us in the struggle. In September 1944, Montgomery daringly tried to end the war by the new year by bouncing the Rhine in Operation Market Garden, dropping 30,000 paratroopers behind the enemy's lines in Holland. Unfortunately, Lola Kalim Harmeirutz, the race is not always to the swift, Koheles 9, and the attempt was thwarted in the Battle of Arnhem. With this setback, plus the coldest winter on record, British manpower shortage, industrial and political unrest, and London coming under V1 and V2 rocket attack, to the Allies' total surprise on December the 16th, 1944, half a million panzer grenadiers, as dangerous and savage as cornered Bavarian timber wolves. Yechasa mena chazima yaya. The wild boar will ravage forth from out of the forest, to Tehillim 80. Burst from out of the darkness of the Belgian forests. Hitler's order for the day, we will yet master fate. Counterattack from out of the Ardennes, objective Antwerp. Slice between the British and American armies to create a second Dunkirk. Had the Battle of the Bulge succeeded, the time brought could have enabled the Nazis to fully bring to bear their new Comet and Blitz jets, their revolutionary Type 21 submarines, King Tiger tanks, Sturmgewehrs, naval workers, Lunagerschutz and V-10 missiles to bombard New York, botulism, nerve gases and even atom bombs. General Patton stated, we can still lose this war. Fortunately, the Battle of the Bulge plan was over-ambitious and it faltered. Gavas Adam Tashbelena, a man's self-pride is his own undoing. Mishle 29, which the Midrash says, this is referring to Amalek. The blessings, Bechar Bechar Tichye, you will live by the sword of military prowess in tactics and weaponry bestowed by Yitzhak Avinu, our ancestor Isaac, on his son Esau, Esau whose descendants went on to rule Rome, Carthage, Botsra, Mocha, Thrace, Tyre, Sparta, Anatolia and Seville, reached its high point in the German blitzkrieg tactics of Aufmarsch, Gefechtstreifen, Schwerpunkt, Einbruch, Durchbruch, Flach- und Luke taktik Aufrollen, Keil und Kessel, etc. But above all, it is always Hashem who is the Baal Milchomos. The Lord is the master of battle. See the book Edom and Germany by Yair Davidi. Many consider it a pity, a shame, that German did not get to experience at least one atomic bomb in part payment for its terrible crimes. British Bomber Command were the only ones to extract some form of worthwhile Nakoma, vengeance, with their 1,000 bomber firestorm raids, appropriately named Operation Gomorrah which reduced base Ace of Lakash, the house of Esau was reduced to stubble, said the prophet, prophet Ovadia I. Quote, the Germans have sown the wind, now they are going to reap the whirlwind. Ki ruach Yisrael v'sufosa yiktsoru, was the motto of Air Marshal Arthur Bomber Harris, paraphrasing the prophet Hosea VIII. Yet today, anarchistic British leftists and liberals want the men who carried out the mitzvah bombing Germany to be tried as war criminals. Hoi ha omrim lara tov tovra. Woe to those who could call good evil and evil good. Hitler, from being an unknown, unemployed wallpaper hanger, was yet another example of kol ha Yisrael Naseh Rosh, Whoever wishes to distress the Israel, they will become the leader. His Niagara speech possessed mesmeric powers of syntax, cadence and modulation. Hitler's unusual voice was the result of his being gassed in 1918. 
His miraculous escape uninjured from the July 1944 bomb plot did not humble him in the slightest. His astrologers told him that there would be a dramatic change in German fortune in April 1945. And on April the 12th, news came in of the sudden death of President Roosevelt. Quote, we felt the wings of the angel of history flap through the Führerbunker, Goebbels. Yet a fortnight later, Hitler himself was gone. His death by his own hand had been predicted by Rabbi Elkanan Wasserman whilst in London in 1939 from a reading of Daniel chapter 8. The palpable audible evil of Hitler's last recording of his political testament showed that he regretted nothing. The wicked, even at the entrance to Gehenna, to purgatory, will not retract and repent. In May 1945, as Winston Churchill gleefully picked his way through the rubble of the Berlin Reichstag, he exulted, with the help of Almighty God, I have tracked the Nazi blood beast back to his lair. The souls of the wicked are the demons of this world, says the Zohar. Anyone in the physical presence of Hitler or Goebbels reported feeling totally emotionally drained to the point of physical collapse, as if they were psychic vampires. Do altista kel Rosha. Do not look into the face of a wicked man. Gomorrah Megillah 28. Hitler has deprived men of all sense of time, said the Belzer Rebbe. A man's name indicates his nature and destiny. A name carries influence, says the Yalkut. Kushmo came who? Hitler, Goebbels, Streicher, Himmler, Göring, Hess, von Manstein, von Manteuffel, Mengele, Tote, Fock, Axmann, Bormann, Eichmann, Kesselring, Rommel, etc. See the book Name and Soul by Rabbi Matis Yahu Glazerson. Hitler had the audacity to invoke the Herrgott to assist him in his dastardly plans. Quote from Mein Kampf, chapter 2. Thus did I now know that I must act in the sense of the Creator. By defending myself against the Jew, I am doing the Lord's work. Der Kampf gegen den ewigen Juden mit aller Energie hat begonnen. The war against the eternal Jew has commenced with maximum energy. The praises of Hashem rising from those in Gehenna surpass the praises of those basking in Gan Eden, says the Midrash says Rabbi Yeruchim Lebovitz, because men forgot of the existence of a place called Gehenna, the Creator brought Gehenna into this world. Up to 100 million people died in the last century in two world wars started by Germany. The British astronomer Sir Patrick Moore warned, quote, the Germans started World War I, the Germans started World War II. Mark my word, the Germans are going to start World War III. Indeed, Germany may yet have a role to play in our history in Eretz Yisrael, as they are depicted as being Confederates in the final assault of Gog and Magog. In Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 6, it refers to the land known as Germania and all her battalions, which Gomorrah Yoma says, Gomer is referring to Germania. And the Gera Rebbe said, I believe the Germans are descendants of Amalek. In the Jewish apocalyptic literature, for example, the Sefer Zuru Bavel, Sefer Chanoch, Nistaros, Rab Shimon Bar Yochai, Milchamos, Melech HaMashiach, etc., many possible scenarios are described, in most of which the Ishmaelitic and Edomitic nations are the leading protagonists, led by a world dictator who will be even worse than Hitler, the anti-Moshiach Armilus. Amongst these scenarios, quote, all the inhabitants of the earth will be moved against each other. Men will provoke each other to fight without reason. Friends will suddenly attack one another as enemies. Children and babies will be abandoned without any qualm of conscience. Earthquakes, fire will burst from the earth. Women will give birth to talking, dancing infants. Portents in the heavens will remind men that the end is near. The sun and moon will alter their courses. The order of the seasons will change. The fruit of the earth will cease to grow. Sown fields will suddenly appear unsown, etc., etc. 
You will go insane from the visions of your eyes. May Hashem grant to Geula that voids the necessity for such chavolim.